Assalamu alaikum what's happening guys welcome to doctor technology today what i have with me is the huawei ascend y200 which i've recently unboxed and i'm going to review this device today it cost uh, 12000 rupees in the market and uh, this is an android device running on gingerbread so let's get on with the review of this device okay guys so as you can see over here i have the home screens and uh, we can pinch and zoom and we can see all these uh, home screens that are available to us and we can just click on one of these and make that our active home screen so whenever we press the home button it's going to take us to that screen so uh, the screens are uh, good the colors are okay um not very impressed with the colors of this device um one drawback of this device it does not support live wallpapers till now I don't know maybe Huawei gives us an update but till now it does not support uh, live wallpapers. Okay we do have the drop down menu over here. Over here we have some uh, quick launch buttons like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and uh, GP GPS, uh, data switch and auto rotate. So you can turn it on and off right from here. So these are good toggles over here. We also get our active notifications over here. So uh, the device performs okay. Um, sometimes the device it does lag or uh, does get I think scared of too much browsing. Uh, anyway, so this is it, and we can hold uh, the screen and we can see these uh, add shortcut, add widget, and add folder over here. So we do have bunch of widgets over here which we can add, and uh, we do have other. Um, things that we can download from the app store and place it over here so like if i want a youtube uh, widget i can just put it over here it's going to load it's going to need my wifi to load the uh, videos so it's going to show all the recent videos over here so i can just move this around or take it to another screen so you can see i can take it to another screen put it there or i can just hold it take it to the drop bin and uh, just delete it so this is as simple as that uh, no big issue we also have these uh, the menu over here i do have some games which i will be showing you so let's jump into camera first and foremost camera of this device is all right not too good not too bad uh, i'm just going to bring this over here to take a picture and uh, you guys can see Now obviously we do not have a flash over here so you will be needing good lighting for uh, taking good pictures. Okay. Other than that um we do have some uh, options over here which I'm going to show you. So as you can see uh we have these uh this is actually the zoom it goes up to 4x. We have some uh white color balancing over here we also have uh, the location gps location over here and we have picture size quality picture quality over here color effects and uh, some camera settings we can also go to the video mode and we have some uh, options over here video length and everything uh, the white balancing and then again the color effects and uh, the camera settings So that's about it. The camera is all right, not too good, not too bad. I will be uploading a sample of the video and also uh, the still images. So be sure to check that out on my Facebook page. Okay. Uh, other than that, we have these buttons over here. If you press this, we uh, get our. Uh, we can add a screen. We can go to wallpapers. we can search we can have our notifications and also go to settings so when we go to wallpapers over here you can see we do not have the option of live wallpapers we only have the option of the wallpapers given to us by huawei or something that we have downloaded in the gallery okay other than that from here we can 
jump into settings to uh, change whatever we want if we press the home screen the home button for long we will get the recent applications that we have just viewed uh, here we have the back button if we press the back button for long the uh, all the home screens on one page other than that uh, let's go into the dialer right now and this is the dialer that we get i am going to make a call and uh, show you So you can see that the loudspeaker is okay. I do feel sometimes that the speaker is uh, not in pace and uh, not performing very well. It kind of sounds like those cheap speakers that we used to have on uh, FM radios. So uh, I don't know why, but the speaker quality is not very good. Okay, we have our messaging over here. So we can directly go into messaging. Uh, this is how basically the messages are uh, displayed in uh, the uh, conversation view uh, like on all Android devices. We can just click here and uh, we can have all these different keyboards over here. The alphanumeric and also the QWERTY keyboard. And if we, if we uh, turn the phone around, we also get the landscape mode. So there's one very neat feature that we get a lot of settings for the keyboard. I'm going to show you that in the settings section, but just to show you what we get over here, if you press the uh, settings button over here, you can see we have a Huawei input uh, settings, select input method. So we have the Android keyboard and we have the Huawei keyboard. So if we switch into the Android keyboard, we're going to get this kind of keyboard that we have with all Android devices. Uh, provided to us by Google so um, other than that if we just click over here and you can also see that we get this uh, speech to text option okay so we can also have uh, the Android keyboard settings over right over here like we can put it to vibrate uh, sound pop-up key and uh, touch to correct auto capitalization and some other things that we can tweak over here and uh, if you go here again let's go into the huawei one and uh, if you click over here we get the settings for this keyboard also and these settings are very extensive and i do like it a lot so you can see we can put a lot of input settings over here and uh, these work very fine and we also have some keyboard settings like we can adjust the height of the keyboard from here so this is something very new and very good that Huawei has uh, put into their devices so you can take it all the way up to 5 and then you can take it all the way up to 1 so if you see like I had already 2 let's take it up to 4 and uh, see if it changes so you can see the height of the keyboard has changed so I can just go over here go into settings keyboard height of the settings and change it back to 2 and as you can see the height will change again so this is something very very good people will like these settings uh, and as you can see I can put a uh, sound on key press and also vibrate I also have the handwriting option and we can put colors different colors and stuff on the handwriting so this is pretty cool okay other than that we have the dictionary management right over here we also have the theme change now you can have a magic gray theme or a white smoke theme so as you can see over here theme has changed so th uh, this is something good uh, i think huawei has taken a step further in uh, doing this we also have input languages over here so depending on the country you are in these will change okay so this is about the messaging message typing is pretty easy but sometimes i did face a problem that when i was typing too fast uh, when I was typing a long text and I was typing too fast it just stopped and went back to the home screen I don't know why this happens but 
but it happened to me like three or four times so i don't know what's wrong maybe it does not perform too well with fast typing or something like that so this is something to keep in mind other than that you can see i did do get my um, email notifications right over here okay other than that we have the play store and i'm gonna show you play store works really fine the device is not at all laggy but it's not very fast so um, i did i do feel that galaxy y and galaxy pocket are much more faster than this device we have all our paid applications and then we have all our free applications and I have installed bunch of these I'm going to show you so this is the uh, play store let's go into the menu firstly you can see that we have the home button over here I can just press that and go back to the home screen I also have the settings button over here and as you can see the uh, icons have started moving and now what I can do is I can move these around or I can add a folder over here if I just press this take it into the take it over a another icon it's gonna add a folder so you see now if I press edit over here I can edit the name of the folder right from here so this is something neat uh, I do like this feature a lot or what I can do is I can go into the folder press the settings button again and I can hold this and uh, take it out of the folder and uh, then go in in there again take this out of the folder and the folder will be gone and they will be in the menu so you can see we can uh, do this very easily and we can also remove uh, them from here just by pressing the red button it's going to remove uh, that application so these are some neat features so we have the dialer over here which I have shown you we have call logs contacts and favorites okay other than that okay, other than that we have our contacts we have our call logs we also have messaging we have our browser over here the browser performs really fine I haven't enc encountered any problem with that we do get our browser settings over here also so you can see we have all the different settings Let's go into a website. So you can see I have my video over here. Let's see and play that. So you can see video loads exceptionally fine and it does look very clear on this screen. I am pretty impressed with the screen and we can view it uh, in uh, both landscape and portrait. So you can see that the browser works fine. Am um, I just gonna go into another website uh, to show you guys. So you can see uh, the site has loaded fully and uh, now I can pinch and zoom. You can see the text gets bigger bigger and bigger okay so you can see uh, that the website is working fine it does have some small flash contents over here and they are also playing fine okay now this uh, does happen sometimes that when you are doing uh, extensive browsing or doing a lot of things at the same time it's gonna say something like this that this has stopped responding so this is something bad uh, I think Huawei should fix this we also have our emails over here we can add our email accounts we have our generic clock over here we also have the calculator we have the calendar over here we also have our music player uh, let's just play a song
okay so you can see guys uh, that the music player is fairly loud and plays very good we can also have an, it in portrait and landscape mode both uh, other than that we have our gallery over here and if i just jump into a picture i can pinch and zoom into files very easily the pinching and zooming as you can see is uh, flawless v works very good and as you can see over here we have some um, we have some options and if we press the menu button over here we will get options of uh, editing or cropping the uh, the file we also have the share option we can share all these file on different uh, platforms over here we can send it to picasa messaging google plus huawei twitter flickr messenger facebook uh, bluetooth gmail and email so this is uh, something nice other than that we have the sound recorder over here this is the generic type we also have our uh, play store we have our settings so let's go into settings we have the wireless and network connections and as you can see um, we have all these stuff over here we also have the call settings over here over here we have the sound settings and we can add a uh, different volume uh, to our uh, notifications we also have our display settings over here we can have animations or to rotate and we can also toggle the uh, brightness right from here okay other than that we also have our power saving mode over here we also have our applications so now something to keep in mind that we do not have a uh, task manager dedicated task manager so if you want to check all the uh, installed applications or the running applications you have to come into settings then applications and then manage applications another very neat feature of this device is that it has the option of preferred inst install location so what you can do is you can click over here and you can choose between these if you want to install the new application in the internal memory uh, sd card or you can let the system decide so this is something very neat um, then you can go into manage applications and you can see we have all our uh, applications downloaded applications shown over here and we also have the internal storage given up over here so one big big problem with this device is whenever you're downloading something it's going to say that it is out of memory so you have to download one thing uh, move it to the sd card or uh, you know just keep some space in the phone before downloading a, div a app so this is a uh, problem with this device they should have just put uh, three or four gb internal memory over here now you also have all applications over here internal storage again then you have the clear cache option over here also other than that we have uh, the on sd card so these all the applications that are ticked are actually in the sd card so i can just click over here and i can uh, press this move to sd and it's going to move the application to sd card so just see over here now you now you can see it says move to phone so this application is in the sd card now okay other than that we have all our running applications over here and the ram information right over here so uh, this is it we also have the option of fast boot over here uh, we also have account and sync in which we have all our accounts synced over here we also have our uh, privacy settings restore factory settings over here we have our storage that is our SD card and uh, we also have language voice input accessibility date and time and about device and as you can see it is running on 2.3.6 so here we also have the option of online upgrading but right now no upgrade is available for this device maybe later let's see okay other than that we have our sim toolkit over here we have our fm radio which obviously works with the headset we have our google search we have google talk youtube which i've just shown you we also have uh, okay just let's just look into that so this is actually the youtube application not opened with the browser so this is the youtube application it works very fine uh, no problem 
other than that uh, we also have our download we also have the weather information over here so you can see it shows all the weather and everything whatever city we want to set over here and this is AQ weather which we get with all Android devices uh, we do have the file manager over here now here you have the local memory this is the internal memory then you have the SD card so this is everything that is present in the SD card right now we also have our applications that are installed and uh, that are my market and everything you do, do get uh, different options over here we have all backup now this is an application which enables you to uh, directly put all your stuff into the SD card and then you can uh, recover it from there we also have app installer document to go you can see we have uh, recent and different documents we can have doc ppt xls pdf and uh, these kind of um, documents over here we have our notepad then we have a game we have our gmail and my gmail is synced over here and uh, everything works very fine okay we have maps over here let's look into that so here you can see that the maps do load very fine uh, there is uh, not a problem with that you can pinch and zoom into a location and it's uh, gonna show you all the other locations coming up over there you also have the plus option over here you can just press this it's gonna take you inside the location you are seeing right now so you can see it works very fine so we have voice recorder messenger we have flash player also uh, we can get this from the play store for this device and here we have some different games so let's first look into tomcat over here hello 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 welcome to welcome to doctor technology doctor technology so you can see that tomcat works fine but it does have problem in listening so you have to hold the phone real close to your mouth to uh, make it listen now we also have Facebook and Facebook works fine I have tried this out myself here you can see on Facebook I have loaded the doctor technology page and it has loaded fine uh, I do get to see all the videos all the uh, stuff that I have put over here and I can also see the comments and likes